So Karina, these sea stars look different than ones that I've seen on sandy beaches before. These sea stars tend to live on rocky beaches because these beaches are where their primary food source is. They like to eat barnacles, mussels. Um, they will eat snails if they can get a hold of them. Mm -hmm. And all those things are in much higher quantities on rocky beaches. Mm -hmm. There are a lot more barnacles on the rocks because barnacles need rocks to stick on. And mussels also like rocks. So, so if a sea star found a barnacle or a mussel on a rock, how do they get it open? How do they actually eat it? What they would do with a mussel is, you know, mussels are clamped together like this. Right. Well, the sea star wraps its legs around the mussel and starts to pry. Like using their suction-y yes. things on the bottom? Actually, Can I pick it up? Yeah. Oh, look at his little legs. Look at that. And all the stuff he's holding on to. Oh, look at you that. You are filthy, good sir. Yes, you need a bath. <laughs> Oh my god, look! Like the tentacles are stuck. Tube feet. It's a little That's tube what feet. Called. Look yes. at them, they're waving around. Yeah, he's looking for something to hang on to. They just use their tube feet to hold on to the muscle. What they do is they harden their body in a position that puts pressure on the muscle. And because the muscle is a muscle, it eventually tires. But the sea star's body is stuck hard like that. So it won't get tired. So eventually the muscle gets tired and it falls open and the sea star regurgitates its stomach, throws it up right inside the muscle, and digests it from the outside. Damn. 